All right, y'all, so let's talk about reactive abuse because I've only made one video about it and it's such an important topic to understand. A narcissist or really any type of manipulative person will push you and push you and push you until you snap so they can label you as the problem. They will yell at you, they will rage at you, they will gaslight you, they will manipulate you, they will project onto you, they will accuse you of things you're not doing, they will make you feel absolutely crazy. And you sit there and you take it and you take it and you take it from them because they have made you feel so crazy that you start to kind of accept the things that they say to you. And you don't say anything back because you don't want to disrupt the peace, you don't want to make the abuse even worse. But as a human being, we can literally only take so much of that before we snap. So when you finally snap, you feel yourself acting out of character. You might yell back at them, you might curse at them, you find yourself saying things you would never say. It's almost like an out-of-body experience. And then when this happens, they will act like they are just completely disgusted with you. When I was in that situation, I was told, wow, I'm getting better and look at you, you're getting worse. They do this so that they can label you as the problem, not take accountability for their actions, and call you the abuser. Goddamn car! I do not want to pay Do you notice that the abuser in the clip is the calm one? That is the purpose of reactive abuse. It is a chess move. The abuser will purposely gaslight, dog whistle, and any other forms of abuse to get their victim to react in an abusive manner so they can blame shift and say, oh, whoa, 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 I'm not abusive. She's crazy. He's an asshole, whatever the case may be. That is why they do that. When you're calm, cool, and collected with an abuser, they're putting you down, calling you awful things, physically hurting you, whatever they're doing, and you're calm about it, like, hey, let's, let's go to therapy, or, you know, can you please calm down? It, inside, will subconsciously trigger them, like, oh, God, because they will realize they're the problem and not you, and they can't have that, especially the narcissist. So they will push you until you are abusive so they can blame shift and make you the problem. Up! I'll just shut the fuck up for good now, huh? If you don't know it, now you know it. This is a prime example of reactive abuse. This is when you are with an abuser who calls you names, who insults you, who belittles you, who pokes the bear, cheats on you, lies to you, and you're quiet for so long, and when you finally, finally have something to say, you explode. You explode. That's what happens. It's normal. It's usually when you're in an abusive relationship, but you're not crazy for feeling like that.